measurement I'm going to use, and I'm going to use in quadrant two here, is the 1112 instrument. This is a Gracie's of the Gracie series, and it's an instrument that is used on the posteriors, and it's, you want to use it on the mesial surfaces. So I'm going to have my patient turn just a little bit here, and hopefully you can see I'm going to put the mirror in there to flashlight affect it. And you insert at the distal line angle still, okay, you insert at zero degrees at the distal line angle. I'm using an extra oral fulcrum so my hand won't block my light. And I'm going to go ahead and instrumentate the whole buckle of this area, keeping that toe one-third adapted to the root, on the root. And as I come at the mesial line angle, I'm going to turn and keep that toe adapted and roll it into the mesial. You can see, again, many a little bit of calculus came off. Um, and I'll go to the next tooth. Distal line angle insertion, zero degrees. Mini walk in it. And as I come at the mesial line angle, I roll it. And I roll it into the interproximal, back into the call area, and smooth up any deposits. Tooth number. Let's see, 12, distal line angle insertion at zero degrees. Keep that toe one-third adapted to the root. My fulcrum, I'm using an external fulcrum, and I'm going to roll at the mesial line angle and come back and smooth that interproximal. Feel a little bit of calculus that I'm smoothing. And you can see he's hemorrhaging. I'm going to kind of go back and make sure I got those smooth. I almost use it like a little explorer sometimes. And just keep that rolled and adapted to the mesial there as you come around that line angle. And get way interproximal, because if not, you'll miss that little spur of calculus the little wing of calculus.